Argument number one, and this is kind of a scientific argument, and I believe a lot of you can relate to this because this isn't does, this doesn't have to do with religion anymore too much, with fiqh it, it has to do with uh, understanding science. So the ulama they said of this view, they said that what we are doing basically, they compared the new month with the new day. They compared the moon to the sun. So they asked this question, when does the new day begin Islamically? The new day, there is disagreement between the scholars, but it's one of two views. It either begins with dawn, fajr, when we have to pray salat al-subuh, or it begins with sunrise. Now let's choose just, you know, uh, just to make this clear, let's choose the second opinion that the new Islamic day begins with sunrise. Now they ask you, which sunrise? Now you pray with Fajr and Salah becomes Qadha with, you know, you can no longer pray anymore. The time of Salat al-Subah ends with sunrise. Which sunrise? They tell you obviously your local sunrise. If I live in New York and I want to pray in Maghrib, Maghrib, you have to pray it after sunset. Can I rely on Los Angeles's Maghrib? Of course not. Can I rely on the sunset of London? No, you have to rely on your local sunset. Each area has its own sunset and each area has its own sunrise. Now, no one disagrees on this. They say, this is part one of their argument. Part two is apply the same thing to the moon. The sun and the moon, same thing. They're two, you know, um, uh, objects in, in our solar system. So the salah, the day, let's say the new day, when it begins, when it ends, it's completely tied to the sun. The new month is tied to the moon. The moon is what decides when the new month begins. So they say based on this reasoning, based on this argument, in the same way that the new day is based on your local sunrise and sunset, the new month is based on spawning the moon in your